hello friends so in this question uh, uh, it's given that ab is parallel to cd so these two lines are parallel ef is perpendicular to cd so this angle is 90 degrees and ged is 126 degrees so this is 126 degrees you have to find out a g e so you have to find out a g e let me put it as x then g e f let me put it as y and f g e so let me put it as z okay i have to find out x z and y okay now clearly you can see the solution yeah so solution is x is equal to 126 degrees why because x is equal to angle g e d g e d y because they are alternate alternate interior angles right so clearly x is equal to 126 degrees there is no big thing here okay so a g e is equal to 126 degrees right now g e f or you can actually write it as a G E is 126 degrees. Now clearly you can find Z. Z is nothing but or rather if you see X plus Z is 180 degrees. Why? And the reason is a linear pair. Linear pair. Okay, so what is Z then? Z which is also equal to what was Z? Z was equal to angle F G E actually. And this is nothing but 180 degrees minus X. So 180 degrees minus 126 degrees. So hence it is coming out to be 54 degrees. Isn't it? So FGE is 54 degrees clear. Now you have to find out why. Why? Right? So if you see angle GED, look at GED. What do you see? So GED is nothing but Y plus 90 degrees, isn't it? Why? This is Y and this is 90. So Y plus 90 is full angle GED. Okay. So uh, and GED is given to be 126 degrees, isn't it? 126 degrees. So GED 126 degrees is equal to Y plus 90 degrees. So my friend, Y is equal to 126 degrees minus 90 degrees it is equal to 36 degrees very easy sum isn't it so hence what is the learning out of this sum so you must know again all the angles related to transversal then linear pair and vertically opposite angle so if you know this all the lines and angle sums you will be able to solve please keep this in mind and you will be able to solve any such sum.